Um, I know some of you guys on um, watching my videos have been interested to see an update on my buggy. Um, I've ran about five to six packs through it. Um, I did. I didn't really want to make a running video right away after that. I wanted to work some kinks out before I started filming with it. Uh, one of the major ones was the servo horn. Um, I don't know if you could see it right there, but it's a um. It's a dynamite one. Let me just back it out and tilt the buggy up so you can see it. On uh, an older video, um, I, sh I showed you some washers that I used, some countersunk washers. Uh, they're purple. And I got um, the servo horn. They're bo both of them, the, the washers and the servo horn are from dynamite. So it, it matches and it looks nice. Um, I had a problem with I had a problem with all the oil leaking out of the center diff. And when that happens, the thing just becomes like the rear end. You put like any, like you go into a turn, and there's any resistance on the rear end. The power just shoots to the front of the, the buggy. And so I f just filled it back up with 7,000, and it appears to be doing well. Um, the stock tires, the low C Eclipse, I think they are. I don't, yeah, Eclipse. They're bald. They're just my bash tires. And I bought some, um, some, um, AKA. Uh, yeah, AKA pre-mounted are these I beams. Um, my first set of AKA tires, and I'm um, I'm pretty satisfied with them. At the end of the day, a tire's a tire. Some tires better than um other tires, but that's like certain surfaces. But this is a pretty good tire. It reminds me of a lot of the Crime Fighters from Perline. So, but they um they're medium compound, and I uh, I bought them used off of a, um another user on YouTube. His name is E Revo Freak ninety six. So I bought these from him. Um, I had to get another pinion because I, I I was running a fourteen tooth right here, and it was just it had good speed, but the thing was the motor was too close to it, so the motor was like basically bending the um. The um, rear chassis brace. There was so much tension on that, so I had to get the the bigger. And I was running about 110 degrees after about 30 minutes of runtime, so I, I had the room to um, get the extra teeth. So I got the a 15 tooth gear, and it's perfect. I could go to a 16, but I'm running 130 degrees on the motor right now, and I think that'd be out of my comfort zone. The shocks are still smooth. The um the diffs. Still fine, all that stuff, good. Um, all I can tell you, you guys is it's a great buggy. It's it's real glued to the ground. Um, I hit a wood rump jump, and the um the rear chassis. You can't see that. I hit a jump. Uh, it was a wooden jump, and it had a, about an inch um edge on it. And when I hit it, the rear the rear shocks bottomed out, and it hit this, it caught this edge right here, and it pretty much just bent this thing up and it's sticking out. But after a few pretty good big jumps, it flattened it back out without me having to take it off. So this thing, it saved the chassis on a lot of things I've noticed. Um, nope. Uh, the car's pretty good. I just noticed these two loose screws right here. I'm going to tighten them down. They're working their way out. But the buggy's nice. I don't feel like doing a running video. So I don't think I'll be doing one of those in a while. Because as you people know that do these running videos. Is they take a lot of time to do them. And um, I'm very busy this year. I have um, very hard. I'm taking some college level classes in high school. So got a lot on my plate this year. Um. But the buggy's great. Uh, I'm, so, I'm selling a bunch of stuff, and I'm gonna try and get a BMX bike. I am gonna keep this. Though. I'm keeping the um, the buggy. I'm selling my slash, um, my slash, my radio, my airbrush stuff. I sold my helicopters, uh, stuff. Pretty much all that. This is my, my only RC left. So. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be expecting too, too, too many videos from me because it's just, 
It takes a lot of time. It, these little videos, all I do is shoot them and then upload them. But any form of like running video and that requires editing, my computer's all slow. So it's, it's a process of about four hours of shooting, two hours of editing, um, rendering it on the, um, the um, video editor, and then there's always a problem with it. It's never perfect the first time. So you have to go back, and then if you put music on there that's, um, that it doesn't agree with iTunes, you have to go back and uh, redo all that stuff again so that the music, that, um, so that the music, you can actually hear the music instead of being a silent video. And by the end of the day, by the end of the video, you probably spent about uh, 10 hours maybe uh, working on one video. If you do it right, now you can whiz through it and it'd be a um, cheap shot cheap put together video and viewers can tell I don't have that kind of time and I don't want to put out crappy running videos like that now if you just want to see it run I can just do some simple shooting like this and just shoot it with the camera and get somebody to hold it in unedited raw footage But it's up to y'all just comment below and let me know if you would like me to do that just so you can see the buggy run but it um it's definitely not the same looking dirty. It, it was almost painful to drive it at first. It was so pretty. So, there's the tires. Yep, comment below and let me know what you think.